Hello, we are group eight, and we're doing Barn Burning by William Faulkner. And we have Angelina Abrazaldo, Ricardo Garcia, and Titiana Trackington. In our story, there are four main points that we want to come across. The first would be the synopsis. The second would be major symbols in the story. The third will discuss who Abner Snopes is. And then for the fourth, we'll uh, do barn burning from Snopes' point of view. For the synopsis, the story begins with Abner Snopes being accused of burning down Mr. Harris's barn. He's not necessarily found guilty, but is recommended by the judge to leave. The Snopes family is then forced to leave the town. And after a couple days of travel, they arrive at Major Despain's estate. There, they are corn farmers and are asked to clean an expensive rug after soiling it. And, but once it's clean, the Snopes family places it, the rug in front of a fire to dry, which damages it greatly. Major Despain sees the damage and demands an extra 20 bushels of corn from Snopes. Then another trial is set against Snopes, in which the judge decides he should pay the 10 bushels of corn instead. But immediately after the trial, Snopes decides that he has no intention in paying for the damage to the rug. Instead, he seeks revenge and plans on burning down Major Despain's barn. His son, Colonel Sartorius Snopes, tries to warn Despain of his barn. And in doing so, the, the son hears multiple gunshots and the glow of the barn on fire. Now, major symbols in the story that we found were, of course, the fire. And the fire represents a major threat in the short story. It symbolizes the lack of power the Snopes has in providing for his family. And it also demonstrates the envious feelings that Snopes directs towards society's more powerful figures. Also, another uh, connection to fire is that we see he is an arsonist. And usually our fire is the weapon that most arsonists use to release their tension that they have, either for sexual reasons or to use as a way to hurt someone. In the case of Snopes, he uses it as revenge against Major Despain. And for Mr. Harris, the intentions are unclear, but... Um, and like people that suffer from any mental illness, like anxiety or depression, the use of creative outlets such as paint, music, or dance is used to release those type of anxieties. And for an arsonist, it's the same thing, but fire is their choice of creative outlet. They usually are not smart people, IQ-wise. They usually have an IQ between 70 to 90 points which in this case we see that Snopes is not very educated due to how his societal standing is. Um, they, have, they have low IQs and due to this they, are, they have fewer ways of communicating the issues that they have, which makes communicating to others extremely difficult and could sometimes be violent, which is what we see with Snopes as he attacks his family at times, his relationship between his son and in other aspects of his life where, there, where the communication is not fully complete. It is a way of expressing their frustration with their inability to communicate and expresses ideas and emotion, which is why we see uh, the acts of violence, which is why we see the revenge against Major Despain. Another major symbol would be the rug. The rug represents the wealthy and prosperous lifestyle that Snopes is envious of. And soiling the rug demonstrates Snopes acting against what he sees as unfair. He believes, he believes that wealth and financial stability are a privilege he was not given, which also ties into the arsonist profiling and as well as the inability to connect with other people or communicate. Now, who is Abner Snopes? Abner Snopes is the father to the main protagonist, Colonel Sartos Snopes. 
He is a very cruel, harsh, and emotionless person. He beats his kids, wife, and other animals. Snopes is not an articulate man, thus he acts out in the only way he can express himself, which is through violence. Snopes acts out of rage and violence towards Major de Spain, which are characteristics as motives regarding his disdain towards someone's power over him and their wealth. And since he's very poor, he projects his own faults onto bits of rage towards those who are more prosperous than him. For example, Major de Spain and possibly Mr. Harris. Thus he acts violent and cold to his family because he craves the very power that many hold over him. And Snopes carries deep envy to those who are financially well off. Therefore, he takes the opportunity to hold power over someone through his violent tendencies. Um, he holds the power over his family by ordering them around and abusing them both physically and verbally. All this lust for power and disdain for those more powerful than him accumulates to a great thirst for revenge, thus he acts on it by burning the barn. Now is Snopes' point of view from barn burning. A retelling of barn burning from Abner Snopes' point of view. Sitting in the makeshift courtroom was such a bore. The judge was trying to tell me that what I did in burning down Mr. Harris' barn was wrong, but Harris deserved it. He honestly did not deserve a penny of what he has supposedly earned. Instead of actually working for his wealth, he collects it by sitting around and doing nothing. It's unfair that he can order me around and still make a profit off my own labor. At least I can get out of this terrible town once and for all. Of course, my family will have to come with me also. Not that they're much help. It feels like they cannot do anything right. Like when they got Major De Spain's rug dirty, they have such a burden sometimes. De Spain is so arrogant thinking that he can just demand an extra 20 bushels of corn like that. Does it look like I have an extra, extra money to just donate to his precious rug? He had it coming when I burned his barn down. One of my stupid sons, Sardi, did not blab his mouth to De Spain still. Watching the barn go up in flames was worth it, despite the gunshot wounds in my room. Thank mm -hmm. you.